It's happened dozens of times, cars plunging into the water off the Howard Franklin Bridge, and in August, a teen died after jumping over the side of the bridge. Well, the crashes are raising some big questions about the concrete barricades on that bridge. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck is driving Tampa Bay forward and getting answers about what's being done to save lives. The video makes your heart race. Cars submerged in water off the Howard Franklin Bridge after flipping over these concrete barricades or smashing through this chain link fence. Cringe when I think about it. Especially in a big truck, you know, you look at the little wall, and you're like, hey, it could go right over the side. <laughs> Charles Brown wonders every day if his nephew, Torin Jackson, better known as TJ, would still be alive if the barriers were higher. That barrier is no, no higher than three or four feet. That's not a barrier. FHP says TJ was in this car as the team behind the wheel led troopers on a high speed chase. Once law enforcement backed off, troopers say the two teens slammed into three cars on the Howard Franklin Bridge, then jumped into the water. TJ's family says he trusted the wrong person and at 16 may not have fully comprehended his actions. I don't agree with him jumping over the bridge. I don't believe he should have, but he shouldn't have been able to. The other teen, Joshua Reed, survived, but TJ didn't make it. TJ was a very nice kid. He was very family oriented and friendly with anybody and everybody. These concrete barricades along the Howard Franklin Bridge are 32 inches tall, built at the recommended height for bridges back in 1990. Since then, the state has increased height standards by six inches, mostly because vehicles are now manufactured taller and heavier. It's pretty scary, um, and hopefully they do something to make it a little safer for everybody out on the road. But your concerns now spurring action. As FDOT starts construction on the new Howard Franklin Bridge, these barriers will soon stand 10 inches taller. The $864 million remodel will also include a pedestrian path two express lanes, and four general use lanes in each direction. Those extra lanes expected to be crucial during hurricane season for drivers in Pinellas County to safely evacuate. Brown is grateful for the changes, but as he's reminded of his nephew's silly expression in this photo, says he wishes they could have come sooner. It makes you laugh and then it makes you cry too because we won't be able to see that in person no more. Construction on the Howard Franklin should wrap up in 2025. Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. As more people are returning to the roads now, we want to remind you it's our mission to get you answers about traffic or road concerns in your community. If you have a tip or a question, you can call or email our Driving Tampa Bay Forward tip line. The information is right there on your screen.